Hello and welcome to day two of the No Code Conf 2021 Speed Build Challenge. Yesterday, we had eight challengers go head to head in our quarterfinals, and today, we'll have the semifinals and finals. Here to help me commentate the challenges will be my colleagues from the Webflow Education Community Team. First, we have Sarah, our Manager of Education Design. Hi. Oh, hello. I'm super excited to be here. Yesterday was great. Uh, my name is Sarah. I go by she, her, hers. I'm the Manager of Education Design here at Webflow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm super excited to have you on this desk. <laughs> and Kyle, our Senior Manager of Community Experience. How are you? Hey, I am doing wonderful, Nelson. I've been waiting for this day for so long since I first saw you do speed builds on YouTube so many years ago. Again, Kyle Pitikelli. Senior Manager of Community uh, Experience here at Webflow. Pronouns are he, him, but yes. I'm sorry, I just can't hold back my excitement. Like, I can't wait to see these, so. I, I know. So, <laughs> did you both get a chance to see the quarterfinals yesterday? We did, yes, we, we did. did. I loved the way Elsa did the Winter Wonderland with a window into the new world. Oh, and yeah. I think Basel's with the slider for the spaceships was um, yeah, really great. Yes, yes. It was like a mock video game. No, like, no. Again, within five minutes. It's like yes. this eSport, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the... within Webflow. <laughs> amazing. Kyle, uh, what was your favorites from yesterday? Well, I do, just be based on the name, love Elsa because I'm a Frozen fan. But I have to say uh, the locket was amazing. Yeah. Just the animation inside of it. I was yeah. just... Wow, and just it was just so well art directed, the colors, and it was so vibrant, I loved it. I know, he, he chose some great assets for his, yes. his project, and like the theme from yesterday was all about building a window into another world, and he chose a locket that you can open brilliant. up with just mouse movement. So just amazing what they can build within five minutes. All right, now, before we get started with the semifinals, let's review how this challenge works. For these semifinal rounds, our challengers will build something in Webflow that shows an object being launched into space within eight minutes. They're allowed to have images and Lottie animations already loaded into their projects, but they must start from a blank page. As for judging, after each challenge, our three judges from the Webflow staff will award each project with up to five points per category. These categories are speed, did they finish the project in time? Creativity, how creative or unique is their project? And lastly, use of Webflow interactions or using other elements like the tab component or the slider component or even the background video component. Now for scoring, each project can earn up to 15 points max per judge for 45 points max total. As for you, the live audience, you're very important because you can give seven points to a challenger by voting in the live poll that will show up under the polls tab in the sidebar after the build. As for our judges that will be scoring the challenges, we have Amina Foon, who's a software engineer, Katie Fujihara, who's also a software engineer, and of course, Sonia Alves, a template marketplace partner manager, all three here at Webflow. As for the prizes, our challengers will be competing for these prizes that you see on the screen. Third place will be receiving an AirPods Max and a $500 cash prize. Second place will be receiving a 12 inch iPad Pro and a second gen Apple Pencil and a $1,000 cash prize. And for the grand prize winner, you're seeing it correctly, they'll be receiving the newly announced 16 inch MacBook Pro with that M1 Pro chip and a $2,000 cash prize. Whew, that are some great prizes. Yes. So let's go ahead and review the brackets. For our first semifinals match, we'll have JP Donicio from the Philippines going against Bazo Kalesh from the Netherlands. For our second final semifinals match, we will have Harshit Agawal from India going against Elsa Amri from Tanzania. These speed builds are going to be so much fun to watch. 
But before we start the first matchup, let's learn more about our challengers. Sarah? Yes. So our first semifinalist, JP from the Philippines, let's learn more about how no code has helped his career. Hi, I'm JP Janisho, and I work as a Webflow developer for Beyond Agency UK, and I'm from the Philippines. No code was really helpful in my life because without no code, I won't be where I am right now. Maybe I'll just stay as a graphic designer, but I really wanted to create websites. So I started transitioning to multimedia and then to digital with UI UK. Yeah, I like reading manga and playing video games. It might be a little bit weird, but I get design inspiration from both of those. Yeah, mostly from video games because they really have all their creative creativity into their work. Like they don't have any limits and you can just see how they put so much passion in their work. And I try to put those creative fun and quirky emotions or design inspirations in my client work. Amazing. I really like that he started as a graphic designer and then these no code tools helped him translate into or transition into the more digital world. And um, Kyle, what do you think? Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm in love with his closet. <laughs> uh, if <laughs> honestly, if he, what he produces today in this competition is anywhere near as like well designed and clean as that closet, people are going to have a really hard time. It's going to be a tough competition. <laughs> okay. All right, now let's learn more about our second challenger, Bazo Kalesh from the Netherlands. My name is Bazo Kalesh. I'm 21 years old and uh, I'm from the Netherlands and I work for uh, Gundi. I found Webflow a little more than two years ago. What I like is, um, uh, is to do everything uh, by myself. So. Uh, if I get a request to do an entire web design and the company has nothing, no logo, no colors, nothing, that's the, the fun part because you can do everything. Uh, you are, the, you are responsible for everything. Yeah, yeah. Basel, like he likes to work with brands that is basically a clean slate. Mm -hmm. Sarah, you being um, the designer for the uni uh, university education team, um, do you like starting from a blank slate or do you like mm. starting where a brand is already uh, established but building on top of that? I mean, that's a really good question. Um, it's very fun to start with a blank page and really be bringing that creativity into the execution of like pushing that brand. Mm -hmm. but it's also fun to see how you can push a brand and involve a brand further and actually, I don't know. So it's both. So both, <laughs> it's a tie. Okay, okay. yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm not a judge on this. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> so from what we saw yesterday, I really think this is going to be a great matchup. So let's get started. JP, are you ready? Bazo, are you ready? I see eight minutes on the clock. Here we go for the first semifinals round. Ready, set, build. build. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's zoom in to Bazos. Kyle, Kyle, what do you think? He's going straight into uploading a background video. Right off the bat. Mm. Curious what he's going to do here. Okay. So this is um, based off of his quarterfinals uh, project. It's a looping video of space. Hmm. So again, they're supposed to be launching something into space. How do you feel about, about this so far? Well, I hope he doesn't make the same thing as yesterday, but I'm sure there will be something super creative coming out of this. So he's adding a little text here. Okay. Yeah, it's like, a mo again, a mock video game. Let's go ahead and look at JP's screen. And uh, Sarah, uh, okay, so we still have a blank page, so I don't think you can... I did see some background video and visual yes. there, some Aurora's which we have in northern Sweden sometimes. Um, okay. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, here. There's a hand. There's a hand. And All it's right. gone. Oh, no, it's gone. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. I do have to say that I, I am just taking notice of the use of the search function within yeah. Webflow to keep things quick, honestly. Do you, know, do you know the shortcut for that? Don't put me in the spot. <laughs> you don't. Oh, my God. Command E. 
quick you find. You have to know. I do think we have a micro lesson when Grimer is doing the quick find. Probably yeah, check that out. Check yeah. that one out. <laughs> check that one out. Here, here, pro tip or spoiler, command E. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if you watch the university tutorial, it can also bring you coffee. Oh, okay then. I'm going to have right. to use yeah, yeah. Let's zoom into Bazo's screen right now. And okay, I'm getting very, uh, there's a video game called Type R. Ooh. And it's like that, those little spaceship games that you have huh. to shoot against a side scroller, uh, spaceships or aliens coming at you. But yeah, how do you feel about this theme um, uh, launching into space? I love it. I feel like it's so inspirational, especially with what's going on right now. Yeah. You know, in our in our culture, you know, we're, we got uh, SpaceX doing the recent <laughs> launch. Like, just it's just it's. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited to see what yeah. he does with this. And because Bazo, you know, to the point in his video, he does everything. Like yeah. he loves to do everything full uh, full bore. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how far he really takes it this time. More time. I know. I really wonder where he got the assets from. All right. Yeah. Um, Contestants, you have five minutes and 35 Ooh, seconds left. Uh, yesterday on the quarterfinals, they had only five minutes. And now so we are giving them eight more minutes because it's letting them make it more complex. Yeah. Going back to JP's screen, Sarah, we see a, a bird flying a bird. down. Flying down. Uh, that's not usually how you see a bird flying. Well, so. I mean, if it's fishing. Yeah. Mm. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. Or hunting oh, or what? Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, oh. I, I am very interested. What is me this? Me too. Me too. I so, think this is I, like this is so creative. Um, yeah. Yeah. And again, they're using Webflow. Whoa. They're adding HTML and CSS without adding HTML and CSS. That's basically no code. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, it is no code. I love that JP's adding some color in here. I'm really curious to see what's gonna going to come of this. I, I also want to know, where is that hand going to fit in? Yeah, it, it, it's interesting choice of, OK, now he oh. has some sort of poem or something. But it's interesting interpretation of launching into space. So I'm very interested in how this is going to come out. But let's go ahead and go back to space. Uh, Bazo's screen. OK, and it seems like, seems like he's already adding interactions. Yeah, okay. I have a feeling this is going to be super interaction heavy based on what he built yesterday. Yeah. Um, and we're not seeing a ton going on here on the canvas, but... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. Challengers, yeah. you have four minutes left. You are halfway done with your semi-final round. And uh, yeah, we just saw animations uh, from Bazo. And, and, and yeah, I mean, the, the speed of which he's adding animations, it's... It's just amazing. Sarah, have, when you were creating interactions and unlocked mm -hmm. that for yourself, um, did you feel, how did you feel when you first oh. learned it? That was, I think that was probably what got me into Webflow yeah. at first place, seeing all the interaction that people were able to do. Um, I was actually one of them, or one of those people who went into the showcase and cloned a bunch of sites yeah. to see how things was built out and how the interaction worked. Yeah, the, the fact that you can clone stuff is amazing. Okay, let's zoom into JP's screen, and now he's adding interactions. Uh, yeah. Looks like, is he, is he taking advantage of one of our new... Wait, um, is this a blend is mode? Our blend mode tool. I'm not sure. I'm not if, if it is See the bird? Blend, look at the bird right there. Then the I'd be super impressed because it was just released yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this is looking really, really cool. Um, yeah. I would give fake bonus points to anyone who tries and be creative and using the new tool bold text I that would be amazing to see <laughs> i love the fake bonus points they're just <laughs> really great to get yeah <laughs> i'll give them away all everyone get fake bonus points for everyone you get bonus points you get no. 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 all right let's go back to bazo's screen uh sarah how do you feel about this mock video game I um, I got a little, little bit stuck on the evil laugh there uh, on the bubble. <laughs> oh, so I saw what you did to my planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay. We. Okay, we're we're doing some horizontal scrolls here. It's oh, just amazing to see, and you really have to think like a developer. Oh, two minutes left, challengers. Two minutes left. So yeah, doing um, all these types of 
interactions, you really kind of have to think like a developer to make this happen. Wait, Bowser is doing the easing on the interactions too. I mean, that is really detailed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that that little red line above the spacecraft is going to be a laser? Yes, it, it has laser? to be a laser. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to JP's screen. And I, I'm Can't very interested. This. So his background video has loaded, and it's behind the clouds. And maybe the, the flying bird is bringing in. Look at this. The, oh, whoa, it's a scrolling oh. interaction. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. One I, minute left. I love this space. If I would choose a space, it would be. A, oh. That's your glitter, kind of space. Glitter in the space. Glitter oh, yeah. space. Glitter, glitter space. Sada would love to go to glitter space. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kyle, what do you think about JP's, uh, JP's build so far? I am honestly blown away. It's, uh, it's surreal. Honestly, I love the, yeah. him bringing back in the colors. It, it's almost like they're both teasing us in a way, right? You yeah. Know, you can kind of see what's happening. You can kind of see what's happening on Basel. Oh, Where the, oh well, we get some movement on Basel. Hey, 30 seconds left. Less than 30 Quick. seconds. This is it. The first semifinal challenge is almost over. 20 seconds. He's playing a video game. Uh, Bazo's playing a video game. JP is creating uh, a visual interpretation of, uh, I think, um, a poem or, or something, or some sort of passage. I'm not sure. Four, three, two, two one. one. Hands off keyboards and mice. That's it. Woo! All right. Oh, wow. That is it. That was so fun. I mean, eight minutes went so fast. Okay, judges, really? please put in your scores now. You, the live audience, you have two minutes to vote for who should get the seven bonus points. Again, to use or to vote, use the voting poll in the sidebar above the chat window where it says poll. Choose who's going to get those seven bonus points. It's very, very important because it can tip the scale. Yeah. All right. Um, wow. Okay. Let's looking at JP's work. What do, what do you think, Sarah? I mean, I told you that I like glitter. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, the sun and moon. Ooh. Wow. I didn't like. I saw that, but it's I a did scrolling not see interaction. That. And it it's sort of a poem too, right? Mm. Yeah. I, I like. I really like how JP abstracted the idea of space. <laughs> right? And wait, it's so ornate. Yeah. But wait, the, if you didn't notice, as he's scrolling down, the bird's arms move yes. up. Yes. <laughs> he wow. used rotation. One minute left on voting, everyone. One minute left, but I'm blown away. Okay, let's, speaking of blown away, Kyle, Bazos, what do you think? Yeah. Bazos is beautiful, too. I think he was just, there was a little, another interaction that looked like maybe a missile or something yeah. kind of was shooting out there. I'm curious to see that, but I'm just blown away that he was able to pull off creating this game-like feel in yeah. such a short period of time. Can you imagine, I don't know how, but maybe in the near future, click triggers, 30 seconds left, everyone, click triggers with logic flows so you can actually register points. Okay. Yo. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. me. <laughs> that <Awesome. laughs> I wow. am. I am so impressed about the chat bubbles that yeah. also did. Yes. And imagine that was inside of CMS collections. Love that. Oh, love that. that would be amazing. All right, wow. voting is now closed. We're tallying the final results. Okay. So here we go. We have the judges scores. No peeking. No peeking. <laughs> but I'm we're, sorry. <laughs> but we're waiting for the <laughs> final peeking. bonus points <laughs> from the live audience. You, the Webflow and no code community. OK, I, I'm not going to say who has what, what score, but the person with the highest score so far without the bonus points has 42 points. The other person has 34. Oh, so doing the math, we already know who the winner is, even with the bonus points. But um, I'll just wait for the bonus points to come in, just to be fair. Oh, and there it is. So the winner with 49 points to 34, we have JP Donicio from the Philippines. Woo! Congratulations. All right, you're moving yeah. on to the grand finals later on today. What do you think, Sarah? 
I, yeah, I mean, I loved it. Yeah? AK really deserved that, yeah. You, you love the sparkles. I love everything. the sparkles. It was, it's glitter, Nelson. It's oh, glitter, it's glitter, glitter and sparkles. And <laughs> I, I would love, I mean, I love the bird flying too. Yeah, yeah. that was a very yeah. unique interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle, what? Yeah, honestly, I really did like what JP did. It's, mm -hmm. you know, we take space and think of it so literally, but yeah. he kind of ab abstracted the idea yeah. and it was very ornate, which yeah. I thought was really cool. And it did tell a story as but, you scroll. But you can't, uh, you can't uh, let Bazo go because his work was still yes. amazing. Ma Again, making a video game in eight minutes, that's not an easy thing to no, do. No, not at all. All right, thank you so much to both Bazo and JP. And what a great way to start off this day yeah. two of our Speed Build Challenge. But again, we're just getting started. Let's move on to our second semifinal round. Sarah. Yes, so our next semifinalist is Harshid from India. And let's learn more about him. My name is Harshit Agrawal. I am from India and I work at FinSuite. I am a Webflow developer and content creator there. Before in, uh, jumping inside the industry, I was just a student uh, struggling in the life and trying to find the right path and career. And, and that's when I found no code. And uh, now I can just fulfill my dreams, uh, I would say, yeah, right? So I'm completely happy with the industry and I just love it. I actually like a lot of tools that combine with Webflow. Uh, the most used tool, the, uh, you know, the tools that I use most is basically Zapier, Airtable and Member Stack. And there are a bunch of tools from FinSuite. Those are the best, right? There, are, there is extension, there is a bunch of tools that actually helps us in Webflow. So I just use all of the tools that that is out there in the market. I just uh, even when someone releases a new tool, I uh, I'm I really want to be the first one to try it out. Uh, I really like how no code tools unlock the power for mm. actually combining a lot of no code tools together <laughs> to yes. create and and build for the web. And Kyle, what do you think? Well, I've seen Harshit's work from yesterday. I've seen his work outside of this competition alongside with FinSuite. So I'm really excited to see what he comes of this today. Mm -hmm. Also, if he's skilled enough to keep that Chia Pet in the background alive <laughs> since the 1990s. Is that a chia pet? <laughs> yeah, I think it was a Chia Pet. If he could keep that alive that long, this guy's got skills. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, and now let's learn about our second challenger, Elsa Amri from Tanzania. So my name is Elsa Amri. I am from Tanzania, which is a country in East Africa, and I currently work as a freelance visual designer. Um, so I've been doing that since I completed my postgraduate course in user experience design. When I first started using Webflow, they have like the Webflow University courses, and I maybe did one or two for the basic ones, just to kind of get a better idea of how to use the platform as a whole. But since then, I've been exploring other resources as well. I'm also part of the community on Discord called Ploxies, and it's for um, women who are, I, I think it's designers and developers. So I joined that recently, and that's been a great um, community in terms of picking up different resources of how to learn Webflow and other um, design type software, but also kind of engaging with other people who are in a similar situation as yourself and kind of learning from them as well. So I would say those have been the two biggest resources for me. I also have really tried to connect with other developers, no code developers on Twitter as well, because like the community is quite large over there. And I always find that I'm learning from them as well, because they have more experience than me. So wonderful to see Elsa make it to the semifinals and to see representation from the Floxies community. Definitely. And I really like how the world of no code and also development unlocks the potential for joining more communities on the web. Yeah, yeah. A lot more communities are growing from the no code space. Yes, absolutely. And honestly, I'm just so pumped because you know I love Elsa. Yeah. <laughs> you You've know been I following love her since the quarterfinals. I've been You're following like, yes. her. Yeah, the whole time. Ever since she got through the, the uh, initial state and just getting into the competition in the first yeah. place I've been watching Elsa so I'm super pumped <laughs> to see what comes out of this also what she built yesterday I just love the surrealism the like the use of the watercolor like it was whew. yeah <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> all right let's get into this semi-final challenge Harshit are you ready all right I see he's ready Elsa are you ready okay here we go I see eight minutes on the clock 
for the second semifinals round. Ready, set, build. build. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's first go into Harshit's screen, and I see that he's doing the traditional flex box where it takes up the whole screen. And to do that, you would just um, oh no, he didn't do flex on the body. He's doing a position he's fix and making it. the background blue. Okay. He's fixing it. He's fixing it. Yeah, he's fixing that div walk. There we go. There we go. A big background image. And what I really wonder how he's going to interpret launching something into space. All right. So while he's working on that, let's go to Elsa's screen. And yeah. Don't so you think we should replace that background image with something else, like more friendly. Like, you know how they're the placeholders there? Like, do you think maybe oh, we can convince them? Friendly. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think we should put a smiley face in there. Can we, you I think guess. Vlad would be open to that? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to take it up with him and see. So it uh, looks like uh, Elsa is still Ooh. working on adding some small touches first before adding anything big. But let's go to Harshit's screen, and he has added an, a, a crazy illustration. That's beautiful. Wow. That is yes. beautiful. It, it's oh, a, is that friendly, Kyle? <laughs> oh, well, there, I think there's a, uh, is that a, a gun or a cannon? Or it might be no. a telescope. It's, it's a got telescope. to be a telescope. It has oh. to be a telescope. It has to be a telescope. It's an observatory, Family. actually. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. There it goes. He's adding clouds. Okay, I, now I see what's going on. He's adding clouds, and probably it's going to have some sort of scroll or click animation mm. to then ah. go from the ground. And, well, okay. <laughs> oh, my <right>. God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is this against the, I didn't, is this against the rules? <laughs> Is it's this not, pandering? It's really? not. <laughs> but, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, six minutes left. Challengers, two minutes have wow. already passed. All right, let's go back to Elsa's screen. And is that Eve from Wally? -E? Oh, that is so sweet. I don't know. V Eve. Vin Vinzorth, coordinates 1.24.003.496. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, ah. this does look like a window as well. Is that okay. planet? Is it planet nine? I don't. Like the coordinates for planet nine? Is I that what it's called? Or I X or X or nine or well, Nibiru? We need to. Maybe maybe someone in the chat knows. So. I'm very interested on in how this is going to play on the theme of launching something to space. It looks like a beautiful card, uh, in my opinion, right now. Oh, but something's going uh, on I'm, back there. Oh, okay. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> I like how I'm talking, and then next thing you know, something big pops up, and I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. What just happened? This is stunning. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, it's an I, interesting planet. Is, do you think that's a hole in the top of the planet? Is that what that is? I mean, it could just be a bunch of clouds. I mean, when you look at a hurricane, it looks like there's a hole, right? Yeah. In the center. Oh, good huh? point. Oh, good point. wait. <laughs> it's a big hurricane. See what's going on. So Elsa <laughs> actually copied the class. Yeah. Or she duplicated the class. Okay. And made that class or put a filter on that class oh, behind that nice. place. I saw that, right? Do you see, isn't it just, I want to point out, like when the planet was first layered on, uh -huh. it looked great. But after using the backdrop, like not the, the, uh, the filter rather, yeah. Yeah. And, and it just fit. Yeah, it enhanced into it. it. Yeah, it enhanced it. And, and it, wow, it just feels it's like it's glowing. a part of the car now. It's beautiful. Yeah, amazing. I mean, I told you I'm a favorite of sparkles and glitter, <laughs> but also glow. Things glow. that is glowing. Yeah. Ah. It's beautiful. So you're going for Elsa, but you're not a judge. <laughs> I'm not a judge. I'm just mentioning. Okay. All right, challengers, you have about four minutes left. You're halfway done with your semifinal challenge. Oh, man, it's going to be tough to choose who's yeah, going to move on. This is a close one. I know. This it's is a close one. so close. And again, this is eight minutes. Eight only eight minutes we're to build something. And let's go ahead and focus into Harshit's screen. And he has an illustration of a rocket, okay? And he's already using interactions. Uh, let's see. Kind of looks like a fish rocket. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you tilt your head. If we tilt our okay. heads. Oh, there we no, go. Okay. It's a very fast fish. <laughs> the fastest fish. <laughs> it's a very fast fish. It's a fastly fish. Sounds pretty fishy oh, yeah. to me. It's a fastly fish. <laughs> okay, there we go. I, I'm really interested how our floating heads will play a part in this story of launching into space. Um, very, very cool illustrations. 
as far as, so it looks like he's using scroll interaction, so it's not gonna be a click trigger, but scroll. So as he's scrolling up and down on the page, mm -hmm. some animations will happen. Yep, oh boy. just like I, that. <laughs> oh boy. I, Here we go. <laughs> I can't believe it. Are you clouds? Like, are your faces clouds? I mean, that, I guess it's a literal interpretation of we're, our heads in the clouds. Yeah, we're well, face nebulae. Okay. <laughs> That's what we are. All right, let's go back to Elsa's screen. Elsa, Harshit, you both have two minutes and 30 seconds left of this semifinals round. Oh, wow. We have a There's new background. A button saying launch. Oh, okay. I, this is a, tr a, a click happening. trigger. I am, yeah. How about the button in general? It just looks super cool. Yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> I've never seen a button with that treatment before. Also, the background, I feel like it just made everything pop. It brought it all together. Yeah. I, I'm very it's interested. It's like coding brackets on the button. Oh, it's like coding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. it is. All right, challengers, you have two minutes left. This is it. Start finalizing your projects because our judges are going to give you points and we're going to see what you've created. Uh, let's go back to Harshit's screen. And I saw that the, the rocket cut in half. <laughs> Is that a second stage? <laughs> wow. Right, he's using position absolute <laughs> and he looks like he's moving stuff, but I don't even know. Okay, we have some oh, He's got a heading on. there. He's got a good heading. Okay. Yeah, with, with Webflow. Web there we go. Oh. With Webflow. All right. Um, I'm I'm sweaty. This is <laughs> such a speed deal. I know. Think the launch. 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 <laughs> Amazing. I, I'd mistype too if I was in this competition. Challengers, you have one minute left. Uh, yeah, like typing anything. I'd be super duper nervous. Oof. I wouldn't get any words on the, uh, on the screen at all. Yeah, exactly. Let's go ahead and focus in on Elsa's screen. Elsa Please. is getting into interactions now. I think this is her click trigger. And um, I'm wondering if she'll get it done in time. She's adding easing as well. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. It's getting so, yeah, close. Easing. What are we going to see here? I know, I'm very interested. I kind of understand already what Harshit is making, but I'm still interested in what Elsa's making. I feel like Elsa's making. We have go less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. Ooh, I'm seeing some interaction going on. Ooh. <laughs> All right, 20 seconds. Ah, this is it. Semifinals round. We're going to learn who goes on to the grand finals. Is it Elsa? Is it Harshit? It's 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, three two, two, one. Hands off keyboards. <laughs> that is it. We are done with it, uh, with the semifinal rounds. So two cool. minutes. Judges and live audience, you have two minutes to lock in your votes and points. Again, audience, all you have to do is click on the polls tab above the chat window and choose a challenger who should get those seven bonus points. So we are, are we watching the interaction oh, yeah. again? Okay. Whoa, we, I do, Did you see that? Which, I, Elsa's I missed side? Elsa's. Can yeah, we see that one again? Yeah, Elsa, should please. We click press on launch. launch. And oh. yo, the cop, yo. What Whoa, just Whoa, look at that. Whoa. See, while they're building, you're like, okay, I don't get it. Frame, yeah, and it's going like, by so fast too. Well, there is, colors that change. But when did this happen? I don't, I don't know. remember seeing any of that happen. I don't know. That was <laughs> amazing. Lie. Wow. Okay, wow. let's see a uh, harsh it scream. Okay. Uh okay, he's scrolling. Okay, it's a oh scroll. My. Oh my god. The, yes. It's okay, it's scrolling. going. It's going. It's launching. Is this ludicrous the, speed? One I, minute I, left. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, second stage. Wow. I love That's it. amazing. <laughs> one minute left. One minute left in voting. Less than a minute. Please, live audience, lock in your votes. I mean... Uh, this is... I don't know who to choose. I mean, you said extra fake points for using the new feature, but how about using the faces that Harsha did? I mean... So you're going to give 100 fake points to that one? Yes. A thousand. A thousand fake points. A thousand points. fake points. But none of them count. I, I'm giving 2,000 fake points to Elsa for for hiding the final thing. I, I did not know yeah. what it was until yeah. 
the I last thing. I didn't see any of that happen. Yeah. And by the way, on that button, I was thinking, are those technically no code brackets on her button? Probably. I mean, it was, it was. <laughs> All right, code brackets. We have <laughs> we have the votes locked in. We're waiting for the uh, we're waiting for the final votes from you, the live audience. Okay, it's over. All right, we have a winner. This was close. It started out Nervous. with um, one person having forty two points and the other person having forty one points. Okay, and so wow. the so winner of this semifinals round goes to Elsa Omri from Tanzania with 49 points. Whoa, congratulations! <laughs> You're moving on to the grand finals, which is very soon, so stay with us. Wow, that, that was a tough one to judge. Yeah, I mean, I'm close. looking at the scores. That was very close. Oh, we, God. Yeah, oh, that was so close. Yes. I mean, yeah. I, even with the fake I bonus points. Them. Yeah, <laughs> even with the fake <laughs> bonus points. <laughs> it was great. Even with the fake points, yes. All right. Wow. All right. Well, thank you both to Elsa and Harshit for competing. Uh, all of you, all four of you did wonderful today. But before we move on to the finals, it's time to announce our third place winner. So the person with the highest score of the two that didn't advance is Harshit Agawal from India. They will be receiving an AirPods Max and a $500 cash prize. Congrats. Now let's take one last look at the brackets and review how both grand finalists got to this point. So we have JP defeating Nishi in the quarterfinals, then going against Bazo, as you saw, uh, but right before this round, and defeating Bazo. We have Elsa defeating Francesco with her Winter Wonderland, and then moving on to de defeat, as you just saw, Harshit from India uh, with her, it seemed like Eve from Wally moving, yeah. in, uh, blasting off into space. So amazing, amazing work by both of you, JP and Elsa. Now, before we start the final round, we have a special guest joining us on the NCC TV desk. You know him, the CEO of Webflow, Vlad Magdalene. Hi, Vlad. Hey, everyone. Great to be here. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just excited. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, Kyle, Sarah, do you have any questions <laughs> for Vlad? Well, I do. I wonder, how does it feel to watch these challenges, like create this in Webflow, the tool that you build? I was honestly in the green room uh, back there with the entire team jumping up and down saying, what tool are they using? <laughs> I, it takes me like five minutes to, to name a div block. And in like eight minutes, we're building video games and space games. We're right. We're talking about the no-code space. This is a whole different type of space that I was not imagining. So yeah. what uh, all the contestants are doing is just blows my mind. Um, it, I don't know. We're sitting at this <laughs> desk that feels like an eSports type of broadcasting yeah. thing, and people are all over the world. I think the contestants were from eight different countries. Yeah. I, I, I can't even describe the feeling. It's just surreal. Um, yeah, it is amazing. So, um, did you ever see Webflow use uh, the platform used as an esports tool? I could never, I could never imagine it. Uh, but the fact that we there's so many people watching the speed builds right now, just glued to their screen, saying, <laughs> "What? How? Like, <laughs> That's how does what this even even work?" I just want to do this all day. I used to watch the, you know, like StarCraft competitions, things on YouTube where you'd see people, yeah. people playing different games. And this is now, I think, my favorite eSport. Um, so I don't know where this is going to escalate. Now it's MacBooks. Next time it's going to be cars. And after that, it's going to be actual spaceships. So we'll see. <laughs> there we go. Well, thanks again for being here for the final round of the Speed Build Challenge. All right. So for this final round, our challengers have to combine their quarterfinal project and their semifinal project. The quarterfinals, they built a window into another world, 
And in the semifinals, as you saw, they had to launch something into space. So now for this final round, for in, in eight minutes, they have to take that thing that they launched into space and have it visit that other world. As for the prizes that they are competing for, second place will get a 12-inch iPad Pro with a second-gen Apple Pencil and $1,000 in cash. For the grand prize winner, they'll be receiving the newly announced 16-inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip and a $2,000 cash prize. Oh, I'm excited. Yes. Wow. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are, are you all ready? I'm ready. I am okay. so ready for this. Let's get this started. All right. JP, are you ready? Elsa, are you ready for the grand finals? Hands on your keyboards and mouses, mice, mice, mice? Mice. <laughs> okay. Mice. Let's all say it again. Mice says. And build. build. All right. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Vlad, you were talking about um, how you're watching this backstage. Did you see JP's work? Let's go ahead and zoom into the I JP's did. screen. I did. It's incredible. Like I, I don't know what's going on in JP's mind or Elsa's, for that matter. Like when there's a bunch of changes being made on the style panel, yeah. but you don't quite see it on the canvas yet, and yeah. then you see it come together. It just blows your mind. I know, right? It's like they're they're imagining it come together in the styles panel. And, and they already know, like, they're exactly. hardly using the preview mode. I think you're right. You just yeah. have to think like a web developer in, like, you know exactly what this is going to do once yeah. you mm -hmm. hit play. And it's just incredible. Yeah, it's just amazing. And because you're a fan of glitter, or is it spark? I don't know anymore. Sarah, what do you? <laughs> don't forget I mean, the glow. it can be both. Who, who am I to decide? You have to choose one. <laughs> well, glitter it is. OK. <laughs> Going for glitter. <laughs> Decisive. <laughs> Wow, this yeah. is amazing. Kyle, what do you think about Elsa? You're going for her since the quarterfinals. I have. I mean, everything she's done is remarkable. I'm curious to see. It looks like she's bringing some of that watercolor, those watercolor mm -hmm. touches, touches back to this one. Okay. Curious to see where she takes it. All right. I'm she's excited to visit the world that All she right. sent us to. The world that her magical hands have created, just like Elsa yeah. from Frozen. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, this is just amazing. All right, so she's adding a, a heading. Let's go ahead and go back to JP's screen. It actually looks screen. like bold text, if yeah. I say so myself. Oh, oh. It might be, yeah. bold text, fake bonus points. <laughs> Great <laughs> use of the new feature. <laughs> the new feature. All right, JP's I mean, written. Uh, it is a feature, featured. Oh. <laughs> it's a featured feature. It's a featured, featured feature. feature. That's, a, that's a strong uh, observation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reference to. Uh, the actual HTML tag. Yeah, yeah. I think we, we got it. <laughs> Fine. <okay. laughs> All right. I really like JP's interpretation, again, of space. And it, I am really interested in what his other world is. Because in the locket from his quarterfinals challenge, it was a lot of animation of, uh, of a woman. And so I'm really, really interested in that mm. storytelling. But By the way, I love that build, a lottie. A, lo a lottie. <laughs> That's two points for Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to Elsa's screen. Uh, what do you think about this so far, Kyle? I, I honestly don't know what to think yet. I know she's, she's giving us the coordinates again for Vozart. Okay. I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope I didn't mess that up because I obviously this is a real planet. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I'm not sure yet. She surprised us last time. Yeah. I didn't know what was really happening. And then when she unveiled all of it, yeah. so much happened. <laughs> okay. So we'll see Ooh. what surprise she has. How did that curve happen? I don't know. Yeah, I'm confused. Is, that, is a, that a div with... Border? Yeah, border radius. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm so confused. Again... It is, it is. Okay. Okay, yeah, oh, I yeah. see it's it too. Huge. Yep, it's okay. huge. Yeah, let's go back to JP's screen, and he's adding a pink wonderland, and I know one person in the Webflow team who is giving all of her fake, a million fake points to this project right here. For the pink. Yeah. Yes. It's got to be Stacy. <laughs> yeah. Stacy. Yeah. This is this is very colorful. I, I like beautiful. this interpretation. What I'm wondering though is, uh oh, switch to a grid. Ooh. What I was wondering though, before this frame, it looked like yeah, right here, it looks like those could be lily pads, even though they're not colored yet. So I wonder if we're gonna go into the to the new world and then dive into the water and then Ooh. maybe come out. I don't know. That's creative. Yeah. Could be All right, wrong, challengers, though. you have. 
four minutes left. You are halfway done with the grand finals of the first ever No Code Comp Speed Build Challenge. Uh, I feel like both challengers are just going to blow us away at the very last second when they press preview, and it's Ooh, like, what just happened? Circles? Wait, what just, yeah, what's going on over there on Elsa's screen? Let's zoom into yeah. Elsa's screen and wonder what Whoa. is happening here. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, she's naming the classes. Ooh. To have that time to name the classes Whoa. in a speed build challenge, amazing. Well, the last thing you want to do is not name them and then have an issue later on trip that's, up. That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, okay, this is, oh, are those orbiting paths? I think you might be right, Nelson. I think you might be right. Oh, wow. Wait, how does that affect, is that blend modes? No? Is that? No, it's a fil filter blur, oh. right? Oh, it's a oh, filter blur, yeah, yeah. All right, and she's using the, it looks like she's using the copy paste uh, feature in Webflow where you can copy from one page to another. And with the rules for this finals, yes, you can do that because you are combining things. Let's go ahead and focus on JP's screen. He has a bunch of text. The fountains mingle with the river and the rivers with the ocean, the winds, okay. Whoa, so he's making a story. Interesting, and, and floating whales. And floating whales. Kyle, what do, you, what do you think about this pink, pink new world? I think it's, uh, it's beautiful. Um, I, I do have to say, I think I was right about the water, though. He did say something about water in that story. Yeah. The water is going to happen. Okay. Whale, whale, whale. You're right again. <laughs> Three points for Vlad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, challengers. You have about two minutes left in your build. This is it. I am so, so happy to see both of them, as well as all the challengers built. It, it's just so amazing, again, to see Webflow become kind of like an eSport. Okay. Yes. Oh, you were yeah. pointing at the screen yeah, for me. You're, you're, saying, you're telling just, me. I think I was just pointing. No. You're pointing, pointing at Elsa's <laughs> screen. I'm pointing at Elsa's screen. She's bringing her alien friend that, into her original. That is a really good point, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was very astute. Yeah. <laughs> no, I meant the form of your point. You pointed at the camera. Ah, your point. Fair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and then. All right. So I really feel like it's going to be a click trigger from Elsa's Ooh, screen. So, behind uh, the window. Click trigger, and then the, uh, the robot is going to launch into that new Vozart world. Uh, I think, I think it's going to happen with the window. sphere. I know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I think we might go through the window. I think it might open, and then we're going to go through it into the and world. In oh, the one minute left, challengers. This is it. Live audience, who do you think is going to take the grand final prize, the grand prize, the 16-inch MacBook Pro with that new M1 Pro chip and $2,000 in cash? I mean, that is a very Ooh. cool prize, oh. not to mention. Oh, my that the fan doesn't really turn on on that MacBook. So. This is really beautiful. And JP is bringing in the seconds. necklace. Ooh, necklace that he created from the previous oh. product, which is stunning. Wow. This is a, that's unique. That's unique. Okay, this is it. You want to count down with me, everyone? Let's do it. Okay, All right. let's do it. We have 10, Ten nine, nine, eight, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands off your keyboards. That is it for the first ever No Code Conf 2021 Speed Build Challenge. Again, live audience, you have two minutes to give bonus points, seven bonus points to the challenger that you think should receive them. All you have to do is use the voting poll tab at the top of the chat bar and just click on who gets it, all right? As for our Webflow staff uh, judges, thank you so much. This is a tough one. Tough. This is a really we, tough one. Can we preview? Yeah. yeah, yeah, let's preview. Let's go into JP's screen. Vlad, what do you, what do you think about JP's interpretation of another world? Uh, I would want to read the entire poem to get the full experience, but it just looks like the locket opens up into this pair of birds that goes into 
and whales. Whale. I, I want to see how they're related to the words that are on the screen and then the, the sun and the moon coming together. It's incredible. Yeah. It's, again, blown away. All, all done in under eight minutes. Let's go ahead and go to Sparkles. Elsa's screen. Sarah, Kyle, what do, you, what do you think about this? One minute left, everyone. Oh, here okay, we go. So here we go. Okay. Okay, we'll have the window. Okay. And then we click. click. Ah. Okay. Here we go. We're in there. Go into the. Oh, and then Launching. It off. Here we go. Free stage. I'm okay, getting, is it gonna I'm lift getting off? anxious. <laughs> I'm wondering, is it going <laughs> to lift off into Beaux Arts? And okay, we oh, have our staff staff points already locked in, and we're waiting for the uh, audience votes. This is this is all amazing. This is all amazing. Kyle, any last thoughts? Last I, I don't. Thoughts. I don't know who is going to win this. These are both remarkable. Seriously. Yeah. So well done. I I am completely amazed. All right. Okay, so see. without the audience votes, um, let's see here. We have okay. It's over. We have our grand prize winner for the. First ever No Code Comp 2021 Speed Build Challenge. The winner is Elsa Omri from Tanzania. Ooh. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. Again, you're our first ever No Code Comp Speed Build Challenge. You've just won the newly announced 16-inch MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip and a $2,000 cash prize. How do you feel? Oh, I can talk. Um, I have no words. Like, 12 minutes flew by, so I was, like, panicking. But I really didn't expect to win, so I'm kind of speechless right now. But, <laughs> no, it was such a fun experience. And um, I had a lot of fun with all the builds, and I feel like I've learned so much because of the experience as well. But, yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, congratulations. And, again, thank you for joining us uh, for the Speed Build Challenge. Uh, final thoughts, Vlad, Sarah, Kyle. That was intense. Yeah. That was really intense. I wasn't sure where that was gonna go. I, I, that was such a close match. Very, wow. very close. And again, to JP, he's not going home empty-handed. He is also getting that 12-inch iPad Pro, Apple Pencil, and $1,000 in yes. cash. So congratulations, yes, congratulations to JP as well. Thoughts, Vlad, Sarah? I mean, I, I saw both the glitter, sparkles, and glow. So I'm just, I'm blown <laughs> away. This is, it was amazing. This is the first time that um, there's a lot of things I try to experience, like 1.5x or 2x, like YouTube videos or podcasts to go faster. It's the yeah. first time I was like, I need a half speed mode to see what's <laughs> even going on here. Uh, so both JP and Elsa just blew my mind with what's actually possible. Yeah. Um, so I am, I'm just in awe of, of how quickly this can happen. Yeah, it, it's just amazing. Again, thanks to all of our challengers, our judges, Matthew, who has been moderating in the chat, thank you. Kyle, Sarah, Vlad, thank you. And also, big thanks to Fastly for sponsoring this challenge. Also to you, our live audience, for cheering on your fellow community members. Now, coming up next, we'll have our final session, a conversation between Debbie Millman, host of the award-winning podcast, Design Matters, and Mariah Driver, Webflow's head of diversity, equity, and inclusion. They'll be discussing how technology has changed the design industry and how we can make sure that the future of design is inclusive, diverse, and accessible to everyone. So stay tuned for that after a short break from Kyle, Sarah, Vlad, the rest of the crew and I, thank you all so much for joining us. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.